What's up, everybody? Let's get into six. I'm Rob. I'm doing a rum today. I figured I'd go quickly live. I wasn't even sure I was going to review this, to be honest with you. It's a product from the LCBO. It's a Panama rum. And I'm not exactly sure if there's added chocolate in this, but I did some research and it's it fits within the rules of how much sugar they can add after the distillate is made. It's like I said, a, a Panama rum. I got really excited when I saw this at the LCBO because it's a 12 year old 54% rum from Panama. Like I said, it's called Campanero. Really, really nice stuff. The issue with it is there is a good amount of added sugar. Now, no more though than the amount of added sugar in El Dorado 12, for example. So this is also 12 years old. The cool thing you get out of this is that it's 54%. Uh, what's going on, Go Habs? Got about 60 guys in the chat. I'm not going to be here long, guys. I'm just going to do this really quick review, talk to you guys for five minutes, and call it a day. Um, like I said, so Panama Rum, 54%. It was about 65 bucks, and it's 12 years old. I thought that was a great deal, so I decided to grab it. When I nosed it, I knew something was up automatically because it smells like a chocolate liqueur. And I'm not complaining. That's a beautiful nose, but it does smell like something's added to this. It smells like there's probably some added chocolate, some uh, maybe cocoa or something. Although the color doesn't really suggest that there's added chocolate in it. Um, there is added sugar. So it could have been a chocolate flavored sugar that they added to it. I'm not exactly sure. But like I said, no more sugar added to this than there is in an El Dorado 12. And this is cash strength. So I will give it a quick review, but I'm not going to spend too long on it. And really on the nose, other than a good amount of chocolate, and we're talking like milk chocolate, chocolate liqueur, it's maybe a little bit of like an espresso coffee note, which is really nice as well. Okay, on the palate. It drinks way too easy. It's really nicely sweet. Like I said, it almost, if you close your eyes, you'd think you're probably drinking a chocolate liqueur. The only thing is it's 54%, so there is some heat to it. But you don't need a whiskey drinker would not need to add water to this, especially a whiskey drinker that's been well seasoned with cast strength whiskeys. This drink's really, really easy, really, really syrupy. I love it. Honestly, for 65 bucks, I'm going to buy another bottle of it and use it to make chocolate cocktails for, for um, myself or guests, that sort of thing. Really good stuff. Richard, what's going on, buddy? <clears throat> Driving and listening. Uh, just keep your eyes on the road, brother. That's all. We want you to stay safe. <clears throat> Is it a sipper? I think so. It's really easy to drink. It's 54%, like I said, but it doesn't drink that hot. But you know there's some heat to it. It's really nice. I really, really like it. If I had to give this a mark, I think because of the added sugar... Uh, that I didn't really take into account when I reviewed El Dorado 12. I'd probably drop this mark a little bit, and I would probably go back and drop that El Dorado 12 mark as well if I knew then what I know now. So I'm going to give this one an 85. It's honestly really nice, and everybody I give it to is absolutely in love, but there's a little bit of a asterisk here because they are cheating a little bit with whatever – flavor they've added to this to make it a little bit more chocolatey. Um, if I, I hope the makers contact me and, and tell me otherwise, if that's not true. And I did a lot of research and I couldn't find out for sure what was added to it. I just know that there is added sugar to it from what, from the research I've done. But if they didn't add that chocolate note and that just is a byproduct of the quality of the rum that they made, then I'm astounded and they need to be making more rum and they need to make this public that this is all natural. Um, really cool stuff. Like I said, probably about an 85. If 
I really want it to be harsh. I'd say maybe an 80, but again, I will be replacing this bottle and at 65 bucks at 54%, I think it's a good buy to be honest with you. Really nice stuff. And it, it would be awesome in like, um, iced coffee as like, you know, some alcohol, um, additive in there. I think that would be really cool. Instead of Bailey's, you use one of the, uh, a shot of this. I think that'd be awesome. So we got Richard in here and there's about eight others. I don't anticipate getting a lot of views on this video because not a lot of the, my fan base is into rum, but um, this one's pretty cool. And this one's available at the LCBO. So for Ontarians that are interested in trying something a little sweeter, a little different, this is the one for you for sure. Peter White's in the house. I think I will grab one tomorrow. Honestly, it's it's pretty good, man. I, I really like it. Um, like I said, 54%. <clears throat> so it has the nice little extra kick to it, and it's well-priced. 12 years old, too. What are you guys up to today? It's a really nice day outside. We do plan on heading out in just a little bit. Um, wife went for a jog. Kids are currently occupied on technology so i don't have a lot of time but i have some time eric is saying found one online shop in the netherlands where i can buy it 45 euro i think that's okay that's an okay price that's probably a little bit more when with the conversion rate than what i'm paying maybe a little bit maybe on par i'm not exactly sure what the conversion is right now uh, that sounds about right though go habs is at a barbecue at the in-laws Quebec is like completely ignored all the COVID rules. I, I think it's kind of funny and kind of awesome, actually. Um, I mean, we're still, we're allowed to actually get together with, I think, up to five people. I'm not exactly sure what the, what the rule is now, to be honest with you, but um, that's awesome. Yeah, this is just... It's way too easy to drink. And a friend of mine who is not a big spirit person, I gave it to, they, they fell in love with it. So <clears throat> Peter White saying it's exactly the same price Canadian. That's awesome. All right. So 45 euro equals $65 Canadian for those who are interested. What's, uh, for those of you that are on, what is the next purchase you plan to make? Eric is saying, have just discovered you. Nice videos. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. <clears throat> 10 people, no more than three families, social distancing outside only. Oh, okay, cool. That's the actual rules for Quebec at the moment. Well, they're back in school. So, I mean, I don't see why it would be such a problem getting together with some friends. Yeah, that's way too nice. They're, I wonder what they add to this to make it chocolatey. I'm, I'm, obviously, it could just be like a chocolate, um, one of those like Starbucks pumps that they squirt into their um, – <clears throat> into their lattes and stuff like that could be something like that. Cause this, I don't know. <laughs> it's very chocolatey. So if you're just joining in, I gave this one an 85 and there's an asterisk to that because there is added sugar and it does have probably, I can't confirm, but probably some chocolate flavoring to it, but it is 54%. It's 12 years old and it's 65 bucks. So because of the age statement and the 54%, the higher ABV, I had to, I had to uh, give it a decent mark and I really like it. So that also helps. <clears throat> Build and fight says, Hey everyone. What are we looking at? We're looking at a rum today, 54%. It's from Panama. It's called Campanero. Elvis is saying rum in the six. You know what? I've, I've got a few rum reviews, but whiskey in the six is looking 
to expand to a few brother companies. I have a few people interested in doing some different channels. So uh, we may have a Vines in the Nine. So <clears throat> for those of you familiar with Ontario, there's the 905 area and there's a 416 area. Vines in the Nine will include cognac, grappa, brandy, and wine as well. Um, anything grape-based. And then <clears throat> we might do a tequila channel as well. We'll see. Uh, I have a few people lined up for it. It won't be me. It'll be friends of mine that are interested in doing them. So I'll let you go. I'll let you guys know if there's more details ahead. <clears throat> Neil saying next bottle for me is the Tam Du Dam Belly three, but are looking into getting rum on my drinking shelf. Yeah. Rum is, Rum is uh, one of those ones that I think might be the next up and, up and comer, but I've been saying that for a while and it still hasn't happened. So I'm not exactly sure when will that will happen, but if companies continue to bottle at 46% or higher, put an age statement on the bottle, uh, I think it, it's going to take off. I think it's just too good to uh, pass up on. <clears throat> Go have the same pasta tequila, Sheila. All right, so I got a couple of reviews coming out. Uh, I'm not sure which I'm posting tomorrow, but I got a Glen Gary that's 16 years old and cast strength coming out this week or next week, as well as a Ben Riek 20 year old single cask from 1997, aged exclusively in a, a Marsala cask. So, um, those will be coming out within the next week or two. And that's pretty much all the major news as a, aside from whenever Jeremy and I decide to get together for our podcast, which might be as soon as this Thursday, but uh, we're not exactly sure yet. <clears throat> Peter White saying selection of single cask high proof rum in Canada is limited at best. Yeah, it's super limited, but uh, there is high potential for that to eventually happen. And when it does, I think rum will really take off in this country because it's delicious stuff, especially when done right. And I did post a rum review probably about three weeks ago now. Uh, it was a side-by-side, -side, two different rums. Um, check that out if you haven't already, if you're into rum, of course. But I think that's it for me, guys. Um, the kids are surprisingly cooperative, and I don't want to jinx it, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and you can support this channel on Patreon. Hope you guys are doing well. Enjoy the day, and um, see you soon.